are talking Remains, also known as Steve Niles Remains. This is a 2011 zombie movie directed by Colin Vase. It stars Grant Bowler and Lance Reddick. Now, Steve Niles may sound familiar to you. He was actually the creator of the original graphic novel of 30 Days of Night, which was, of course, turned into a pretty good vampire movie. However, that's not his only work, and this was another graphic novel which has been turned into a movie. This one, a lower budget affair, though, and it's not vampires this time, it's zombies. Let's talk about the plot. So this takes place in Reno, which kind of gives it this kind of uh, gambling aesthetic that we have seen recently in Zack Snyder's uh, Army of the Dead, although this one, as I say, came out 2011, so it obviously much predated that film. But we have some type of nuclear experiment, which is initially supposed to uh, create some type of kind of green energy, but things go wrong and it sends out a massive kind of blast of energy, which turns everyone into zombies. Only those who are somehow protected from the blast survive. For example, we have a couple that were having sex in a kind of like a basement downstairs. We've got a guy who was doing something in a stockroom you know, who has survived. So we essentially get a small group of survivors uh, who are, you know, unaffected by the blast, trying to traverse the landscape filled with zombies. And these zombies are slowly trying to get a little bit more um, smarter as kind of time gets on. They're kind of getting a little bit more evolved as they kind of uh, as, as time goes by and of course we have a, another human element as well as we meet another group of humans a little later on in the movie what will happen well you'll just have to watch the movie and find out so let's talk about tone first of all this is a zombie comedy movie in, a, in some ways i would say the nearest uh, comparison is probably zombie lad it's that kind of level of horror comedy so it has a comedic tone without being an out and out kind of spoof uh, joke of a movie. It still has a, you know, a, a dramatic narrative, but it has some comedy elements, a few kind of joke scenes, a few one liners, things like that. Our characters are slumber, sort of hyper real or kind of overly exaggerated in regards to, you know, lack of levels of intelligence and things like this. But nonetheless, it gives it a kind of fun feel. And if you like movies like Zombieland, it's a comparable one, albeit on a kind of a lower budget scale. However, the budget doesn't stop this movie from having plenty of ambition, because it really does try and show you this is a, a you know a, a, an event which has caused massive destruction, and even though the, the effects struggle to really keep up with that ambition, nonetheless we do have quite a lot of of destruction in the kind of the environment here, loads of kind of zombie extras, and it, it does feel like it is. You know, it's, it's a higher scale movie in regards to uh, the amount of devastation that it's trying to kind of put up on the screen. Not always successfully, we'll talk about it, but at least there's an attempt here to really kind of show you the kind of the devastation. And it's not just a small localised event, it's kind of, you know, it's quite widespread as the kind of the movie uh, kind of suggests kind of as the film goes on. The cast of human characters initially is actually quite small, which gives them the benefit of being quite you know, well-developed characters. And they're not your typical types. These are, a lot of them are somewhat losers, I would suppose you would say. People who you wouldn't necessarily uh, choose as your uh, altruistic protagonists in most kind of like scenarios here. We have a couple that just seem to kind of, you know, take advantage of each other and are ultimately kind of out for their own good and a guy who seems quite happy to kind of sacrifice people for, for his own uh his own means so these people aren't necessarily uh you know purely kind of altruistic but at the same time i did feel they do a good enough job there even with the most selfish of the characters they still seem like uh, they argue that it would be, you know, what would you do in that kind of situation? How would you have you reacted? You know, would you look out for yourself or would you put yourself in danger to, uh, you know, to try and kind of help someone, even if it was a futile effort? So the movie, I think, does a good job of trying to give you a, a nice kind of uh, balance and kind of characters and not have ones that are truly obviously out and out bad necessarily, but also ones that are completely altruistic at the same time. So... It had levels of kind of grey, which I kind of appreciated. Some of the, the zombie, fake, zombie make I think looks pretty good here. And there is some quite fun sequences and some genuinely kind of funny moments as the film progresses. The movie's actually fairly kind of action packed as well. We do have quite a, uh, a, a few good fun sequences. In fact, there's a, uh, 
There's a sequence where we see one of our characters trying to get around the zombie filled streets using one of these kind of like giant kind of hamster ball things that, uh, you know, you have as a kind of like a ride and things. And I believe we've seen it actually in the movie uh, Dead Rising video game. Sorry, not a movie. Uh, but nonetheless, here we see it in movie form. So we have this guy, you know, rolling around in this kind of giant hamster ball to try and kind of avoid the touch of the zombies and things like that. So there's some fun sequences here that I did quite enjoy. It doesn't work for me. Unfortunately here, the, the, I think the budget is possibly the main issue. Um, because as I've mentioned, the movie is fairly ambitious in what it wants to show you. However, what, it, what we actually see on screen is some quite low budget effects from kind of, you know, CGI cars flipping over in quite an unrealistic and uh, unconvincing fashion to some, uh, you know, dodgy green screens and crappy fire effects. And I have to say, although some of the zombie effects were quite good, there are others as we, which kind of look a little kind of rubbish at the same time as well. When it's all said and done, I have to say, the story isn't anything special, to be honest. It's just a simple, you know, survival movie trying to kind of avoid zombies without kind of really doing anything too um too special with this story and you know this is a problem i've said with another zombie film it's such a crowded market with zombie films and they all tend to be quite similar and as such it really just kind of you know it feels like white noise it's just another zombie film with people trying to escape zombies without really doing anything kind of too original or too special with it and I think some, unfortunately it's because of the sometimes unfortunate lack of budget here the movie does come across as being a little bit trashy at times a little bit just kind of like low brow shall we say um I like the idea of how the zombies kind of get you know started off but it really doesn't have much of much effect through the story if that makes sense um it actually ends, I think, on a on a more of an interesting note than the whole movie. So the very final shot of the movie gives us uh, a taste of something that might be more interesting than the actual film itself. Because the film itself, if it's all said and done, is fairly vanilla. The very final shot of the movie, you think, well, that would have been a bit more of an interesting movie because it that it teaches something a little bit different, something a little bit more original than your kind of standard zombie flicks. However, that's not the film that we got. We got somewhat of a low budget standard zombie flick with some questionable effects it's not a bad film i still enjoyed it but it's nowhere near as good as the other steve niles adaptation of course 30 days of night which was a really great vampire film this one is a somewhat substandard zombie film i'll give it a four out of ten a slightly below average movie uh, purely driven down by some real uh, quite poor video effects i think have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now